Hello and welcome to Thursday's Digital Dorsey. My name is Ken Dorsey, my call sign is Kilo Alpha 8 Oscar Alpha Delta and today I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about the new Yesu HT, the FT3DR. We have them in stock now, available, and uh, I've been playing with one myself. Very nice radio. I'm going to kind of compare it with the uh, FT70 and also the FT2DR. So we'll start off with the radio itself. Ta-da! And that's what it looks like. And it looks like we've got somebody on the uh, on the talk group here. The right, right, right. That's what the display looks like, full color. I understand what you're saying, Joe. I really, I, 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 I put the white flag up already. Full I'm color display and a touch screen. So to uh, do anything on the screen, all you have to do is touch. You can enter. So 43330 is what we're on right now. That's our hotspot frequency here. And uh, of course, it is a dual band and dual VFO radio. Um, very nice looking display, even with the backlight off. And I'll let the backlight time out. You can kind of take a look at it with the backlight off. While we're doing that, I'll just compare it to the, this is the FT-70D. So as you can see, about the same size as an FT-70D. Pretty much the same uh, thickness, very similar to the uh, FT-70D in size. Now here's the uh, FT-2DR, and it's the FT-2DR is slightly larger than the 3. The screen obviously is larger on the 2DR, so it's um, a little bit larger overall, about the same thickness, um, but the radios very similar. The uh, FT3D uses the very same menuing system as the FT2 did. So if you're used to the FT2DR's menuing system, the FT3DR is very similar. Press the button and there's all of your menus. And again, of course, it's touch. So you can go into your menus with the touch screen. We'll go ahead and get back out of it. And go back. Oops. We'll go back up to the uh, ABFO here. Maybe we can just catch another little bit of this uh, QSO here. What's it look like when you bring up the wires expand? Oops. But that's the uh, the yeah, radio I'm, overall. I get, um, I start, it starts loading all the data in for me slowly. But as far as room control, and all the other ones go, there is no, no way I'm going to get transmitted. But that's, uh, that's a little bit of a uh, demonstration of the radio itself, and I'm going to go into the details as far as the radio goes. Um, I'm going to just read these off because I don't have them memorized. Uh, it is, again, like I said, a dual-band digital handheld transceiver. It has two independent receivers, so it will do UV, VV, UU or VU, so you can uh, have either uh, dual uh, uh, two meter or dual uh, 77 me 70 centimeters on either or both of the uh, VFOs, or you can uh, mix and match them. It will also do C4FM on both VFOs, which is very interesting. So you can actually have two separate C4FM VFOs if you want to uh, monitor two different, uh, let's say, repeaters, for instance. Uh, full color TFT LCD dis touch display. Um, it does have um, a high resolution band scope. That's a new feature that they've added now with this display. They're able to do a high resolution band scope. Uh, and also you can monitor up to 79 channels centered on the current VFO frequency in real time. So you can do a, a center band frequency and then actually be able to monitor 79 uh, channels centered around that center frequency. It does have built-in Bluetooth and it will work with uh, any kind of uh, Bluetooth hands-free device using Box or you can get the uh, optional Yesu Bluetooth headset for it, a uh, model SSM Sierra Sierra Mike dash BT Bravo Tango 10 
which is also equipped with a push to talk button. So you can uh, use the uh, Bluetooth uh, Yesu headset with push to talk. You don't have to go with Vox on it. Um, and of course, all of the C4 FM, the system fusion features are supported. And uh, it's again, it does a transmit frequency on uh, two meter from 144 to 148 megahertz and on 70 centimeter from 430 to 450 megahertz. Uh, it does also support wideband receive, continuous receive wideband from 500 kilohertz through 999 megahertz. Uh, of course, the uh, cell phone frequencies would be locked out of that uh, continuous receive. Uh, and that's from the A band. On the B band, it will do 108 megahertz to 580 megahertz uh, continuous receive. So basically from aircraft up to public service bands. It will also do uh, simultaneous AM FM broadcast reception while monitoring the two frequency channels. So you can actually have a FM or AM broadcast going on while you're listening to your uh, VFOs. It has, of course, a GPS receiver. It supports uh, and has an APRS data modem built in, and it'll do 1200 or 9600 BPS on the APRS. Um, it comes with a 2,200 milliamp hour high capacity lithium ion battery as standard. So a uh, very good uh, high capacity battery that comes with the radio. Uh, it has a micro SD card that supports voice recording. Um, so you can actually receive and transmit uh, your, you can save your receive and your transmitted audio on the SD card. And of course it supports wires X uh, it has a club activity monitor function. If you have a club channel that you actively monitor, it will uh, allow you to add that frequency into the radio as your club channel and it will monitor that frequency. Um, and I think that's uh, about all of the uh, information that I have here on it. We do have it on our website. If you want to check it out on our uh, DX Engineering website, it is available and I can show you. On the website, uh, all of the documentation is there. So once you're on the actual page for the 3DR, if you scroll down, there's several tabs here. One is the documentation tab. And if you uh, scroll down in the documentation, you can find all the manuals available that are for the radio, standard operating manual, APRS manual, the advanced manual. That's mostly uh, for the Wires X and the uh, System Fusion. But uh, everything is right here on our website as well for the, the radio, including any uh, suggested parts, items that you may want to consider when buying the radio, uh, carrying cases, headsets, chargers, etc. And also any repair parts, and those would be just uh, like a, bat a new battery or a, a belt clip for it. So that's all I have today. Thank you very much for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, please contact us at dxengineering at dxengineering.com or digitaldorsey at dxengineering.com. We'd love to have your questions and be happy to answer them for you. Until next week, 73.